Welcome back to another episode of Lima Football, and today I have a unboxing and review for you guys on my Under Armour uh, Clear Visor. So let's start off with the unboxing. First off, it obviously comes with the Under Armour Visor. Then you have a whole bunch of these little clips. Now these clips are used to attach the visor. And things that come with some decals, which we'll show you in a second comes with this little card which shows you how to attach the visor and lastly just this little piece of paper which shows you how to attach the decals which uh, again I'll go through all that in another video now um, to start off this is the um, visor this is the clips used to hold it on now obviously um, I don't like these clips I'm not a fan of these one reason is because these clips do not fit on this very well. It, t it tilts and it basically just does not work. Uh, I tried them like that. I've also tried them upside down. They still do not work just because the bars are too small. Um, you could use the clips on say a face mask like this just because it is small enough. There's enough gap. But with my uh, current big grill I use zip ties. Uh, here are the zip ties I do use for it. Um, really standard you can get a pack of 20 for like a dollar not expensive at all now uh, one thing I do like about this visor is um, of course it's clear which makes it really easy to see through but uh, unlike other visors it comes with decals and uh, different things you can put on so here are the decals and stickers as you can see I have the blue missing for my cold steam and so there's colors for basically every team there's different shades of red orange purple, blues, browns, you know, everything you can think of. And it, each uh, set of stickers comes with a Under Armour and a, uh, just a basic one. It's so you can put your uh, numbers on with it. So on mine, I took the blue one for the Under Armour, and then I took the other one, put it on here, and then I took off the six and the three to put my number on it. And also, because I have extra decals, I put 63 on the back of my helmet as well. Um, there's really not a lot you can say for this one thing. I'm going to do a comparison video maybe later on of an Oakley compared to an Under Armour visor. If I can get my hands on an Oakley one because this is my only one right now. But uh, I would always really like to try a smoked visor but since they're not allowed there's no point in me really buying one. Uh, a lot of players wear these. Uh, I think I really like it for a lineman position just because uh, with like the gap here you can get a lot of fingers in your eyes which this definitely helps cut it down and it Visors always make you look cooler. There's kind of a nice little added accessory that every, everyone is allowed to wear. So um, the other two brands of visors most common are Nike, which is exactly like this. As you can see, it is straight down. But then there's also Oakley, which bubbles to fit a uh, face mask a little better. Some people like that, some people don't. This is my only one right now, so that's just what I'm going to give a review on it for. And uh, Overall, a really nice visor. I think the one thing that separates this from the other ones is, again, the decals. And people on my team have asked me for decals so they can put them on their helmet just because they have Nike and Oakley visors so they don't have that luxury like I do. Um, again, with all these different color options, it is really nice to have as well. Here, all of them right here. I'll just set them up for you guys. And then, so yeah, I really like this visor. Um, one thing I don't like is you do need some kind of cloth to clean it off a lot. So what I did is I took my sock. Um, it is really nice and soft on the inside. And this is just what I carry around in my bag with me. Also, I do, has a, I do have a microfiber right here as well, which I carry in my bag. Um, and I might even show you guys next how, to, uh, how it affects with rain. So that's all I'll show you guys next. And I can't really do a fog test, but I'll uh, show you with like my freezer and how the elements affect it. Okay, uh, so now I'm just going to show you guys how uh, water affects it and show you the streaking of it. So, could you just get some water on it? This is just like rain. As you can see, it uh, some of it gets stuck, but some of it does streak as well. So, um, I don't recommend wearing a visor in the cold or in the uh, rain. If you get it uh, specially coated, then yes, but for the most part, you can see it does streak off, but a lot of it does beat up and get stuck, so I wouldn't highly recommend wearing one in the weather. 
Next, I'll show you guys in the freezer. Just uh, try and simulate um, cold conditions, and I'll just fingerprint it up a bit. Go in the feed freezer. Then I'll pull it out in a couple minutes, just show you guys how uh, it handles okay, water. Uh, so now I'm just going to pull it out of my freezer. It's been there for a couple minutes, and just see how it reacts with the cold. So, as you can see, cold has still not affected it. Let's try breathing on it. Uh, still no major effects though. Um, with it being a lot colder than my freezer, it does fog, which I can speak of from experience. So again, I would not recommend um, a visor in the cold or rain, because you know there's always chances that it's going to fog and there's going to be beating of water. So uh, overall, I really like this visor. I try to stick to only games with it, just so I don't completely scratch it up in practice, which is why I don't have it on my helmet right now. And um, I'm just going to post another video in a bit on showing you guys how to properly attach the visor.